His winning races were shown coast to coast, in black and white, of course. In the 1953 Kentucky Derby, Native Dancer was odds-on favorite, but everyone should know that the race is not won until the horses have run. The figure of fate in this derby took the form of Dark Star, who went to the front early under a masterful ride by Henry Marino. The undefeated Native Dancer was roughed up in the first turn and dropped back way off the slow pace. Encountering much trouble in the 11 horse field, jockey Eric Guerin finally found room on the rail as they turned for home. Urged on by millions shouting at television sets and thousands at the racetrack, the gray narrowed the margin but ran out of room. It was to be his first and only loss. At Pimlico in Maryland, where Native Dancer was foaled, the odds were even shorter in the Preakness, 20 cents on the dollar. Even though Dark Star again went to the front, Native Dancer was kept near the pace this time, never worse than third. Dark Star went wrong in the race and never raced again. Although Native Dancer inherited the lead sooner than expected, he outlasted a game Jamie Kay. His long and fluid stride never more admired. Nineteen victories from twenty races, but the race he lost was the one valued above all others. His influence on the world's thoroughbred bloodlines could be documented in gold. Retired to his breeder's Sagamore farm, he produced a series of champions and sires and dams of champions. His son, Raisa Native, was undefeated and voted champion at two. Injured and retired to stud early, he carried on the dynasty with equal brilliance. Raise a native son, Majestic Prince, won his Kentucky Derby beating arts and letters, then lost only one race, the Belmont Stakes, to that same horse. And a grandson of Raise a native affirmed, engaged in the most heated rivalry of his marvelous career with Aladar, a son of Raise a native. Their races in 1977 and 1978 define the words thoroughbred courage. That's Aladar inside and affirmed in Steve Cawthon outside. Native dancer in the whiteness of old age could well be pardoned for that one lost opportunity in a life full of achievement. Native Dancer Blood, winning classic races, became common. His son, Kauai King, a lucky purchase by owner Mike Ford, won the 1966 Kentucky Derby and Preakness, and was later retired to stud near his sire at Sagamore Farm. Let Mike Ford express what winning the Derby means. means to me is a very difficult thing to do because any great emotion that you have uh, is a very difficult thing to describe. It's certainly the biggest thrill that either me or my family have ever had in our entire lifetime, or as, ma as a matter of fact, that we ever expect to have. The actual winning of the race is, is something that you dream about, uh, like a boy dreams about becoming president of the United States when he's a young lad. The race itself was, of course, one of the most thrilling things, or the most thrilling thing that I've ever seen. The stretch itself was probably the longest run that I've ever seen any horse make, at least it felt that way to us, and particularly uh, the last five jumps. It looked like uh, Advocator and, and Blue Sky, of course, I had no idea who those two horses were that were closing on him at that particular time. But I will say this, in the last couple of jumps, I mean, it was quite obvious to us that, that they weren't going to get to him. But these things happen so fast. When you're talking, as you know, a length is a fifth of a second, and the thoughts that go through your mind uh, in that length of time, and the thrill that you've got, the, the emotion that you feel, the, the crowd noise, uh, 
probably screaming yourself and don't even realize it, uh, uh, it's just more than anyone can describe. Although not a success at stud, Hawaii King did excel on the racetrack, adding luster to the reputation of native dancer.